Hey, it's Clay Trader. This will be a video chart on ticker symbol FALC. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So while this here may look like several days worth of time, it's actually just today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, I think it does a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price. And in this situation it makes mapping out a very logical question quite straightforward. And that question revolves around the fact that today was a very nice move. From where the price closed relative to where this all started down here, I think everybody would agree that yeah, this here was a nice move on the bull's part, but that does lead to the logical question, but is there any sort of true power behind this price movement? Is there any sort of genuine strength or is this just some sort of knee-jerk reaction, dead cat bounce type move? I have no idea, but like I said, by using charts, we can make answering that question very straightforward. And in my mind, it all revolves around a single point and that point is down here at 30 cents. So why is 30 cents so important? Well, hopefully we can all agree on this logic that price movements with genuine power, with true strength, the price is gonna progress forward. The price is not gonna go back to where it was. I'm assuming you're saying, hey, thanks, Captain Obvious. Of course, a price movement with genuine strength is not gonna go back to where it was. So with that in mind, think about 30 cents. Any sort of closes blow it or worse yet if the price separates to the downside, what is that doing to the price? That's literally putting the price right back inside of this range where it already was. Again, going back, not a sign of true strength. Whereas let's say the price pulls back here, bounces around on top of 30 cents and then heads back up. What would you have in this situation? Well, you'd have a set of lows right here. You'd have this previous set of lows down there. If you picture each one of those as stair steps, well, hey, now you have stair steps making progress in the upwards direction. And again, that's the name of the game. That's what a truly strong move is gonna do. It's gonna make progress over time. And in this situation, I'm defining and quantifying the statement, make progress as 30 cents. Now, what about areas of resistance? If this upwards move is gonna continue, where are some of these battlegrounds at? As things stand right now, Key battleground seems to be right up here around the 39 cent mark, 38, whatever you want to call it. I think we can all agree though that there's quite a bit of price congestion that happened, you know, especially this afternoon, right up around this 38 cent mark. So 38 cents initial area of resistance. And then after that, next key one up there at the 44 cent mark. So all in all, no doubt about it. Very, very nice way. Uh, I guess today's not Friday, right? So there's still one more day left, but very nice day regardless. So it'll be interesting to see if the bulls can now build upon this momentum going into tomorrow and then the weekend. One of the biggest questions that I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.